They're actually a very easy animal to take care of. We had been living in Milwaukee and really enjoyed it there, but wanted to um, have the opportunity to do more gardening, raise some animals. The alpacas do very, very well in Wisconsin, actually during the winters. Since they're natives of the Andes Mountains, they're used to being in colder climates. I've been out here when it's zero and they're sleeping in, outside, they're not in the barn. And uh, it's more the, the summer months that are more of a, a problem for them just because they can't deal with the heat as well. This time of year they go, grow quite a bit of fiber that keeps them warm. When we shear them, there's about 10 pounds of fiber on them when, uh, per animal, so it, that, that's why they look so big now, but they're pretty tiny underneath. They're only about 150 pounds. We shear them once a year, and these are high quality fiber males, which means that they have a very dense fiber. We usually try to shear in May or June, so that way throughout the summer when it's hot in Wisconsin, they stay nice and um, cool. Then usually as the days start getting shorter in fall, their fur starts growing. So you can see that, you know, this truly is a white animal. His hair right now, his fiber is about an inch long. And within the next month, his fiber is probably going to grow to about three to four inches. So this is the raw fiber. Uh, you can see that how crimpy it is, it has that wave to it. You can also see how this is the, just right off the animal. So this is the, the blanket that comes off this. So the blanket is the entire back of the, the animal. So it's the, the top and kind of around the sides. And that's the most, that's the desirable part that you want to use for things like yarn and things like that, because it's not been you know, laid on, it's not been like rolled around in, in, in the dirt and things like that. So this is the, the best fiber that you can get off the animal. They eat grass at, uh, in our pasture. They, we also have hay bales. The three of them will probably only eat about five hay bales a month, so they don't eat a lot. They also are the, uh, uh, in the same family as llamas and camels. They uh, share a lot of the same uh, genetics, but they're just a smaller version with, them, with fluffier fur. They're great animals to, to raise. They are easy to take care of for the most part. They're pretty robust as long as you have a great place for them to live and they have adequate pasture space. They're gentle creatures, so you know, it's just you know, that, that calming, relaxing nature about them just kind of wears off.